All right, class, um, let's talk about the last topic, which is the data-driven testing. So as you saw in lesson two, we've broken down the very long script into smaller chunks. Now, what is data-driven? Data-driven is where we replace constants with variables. So I'll open up my login, and in my login, I can see that, that there was a point where I put in the password. And the password was Rx. Now, I can replace this constant with a variable. And the benefit of doing that is if I want to use just this one script to run many passwords, I don't have to record as many times. All I need is just connect my table to this script and have it run as many times. So to do that, click on the constant, which is the password. You want to make a variable. And tell RunnerX, I want to make this constant a variable. So you go as new variable. Then ask it for a name. So give it a name. I'm going to say the name. I'll call it password. Once it becomes a variable, it gives it a dollar sign and the dollar sign is RunnerX telling itself that this is a variable and to make sure that you have the right thing go into your variables and in there you can see that we have a password that is Rx okay so that's how you put a password into your variable I can create more variables as many as I want so if I want to create another variable that is um, say password 2 I can call this ABC and I can create another variable again so I'll say okay and I can always tell RunnerX don't use password use password 2 for your test or use password for the test I can change my password in here now the more efficient way of doing this is to actually have a table where you put all the passwords inside and how do we do that so to do that you have to go back into your project which is lesson one and right away RunnerX is telling me I've got two variables which I created which was password and password 2 let me go back into my login and I'll delete the other one I don't need password 2 let's delete that okay I'll go back into my project and in here, I have one variable, which is password. Now, to now connect the password to my external table, I will click on Manage Data Sources. And I'll tell it to give me a new table. Then it, it asks me, what kind of table do you want? I go, give me a simple data table. If I have an Excel spreadsheet, I will say, give me an Excel connector. And this will connect me to an Excel spreadsheet. If I have a database, which you all know by now, I have Oracle, I have SQL, I can connect my RunnerX to my SQL table. So in this example, we're going to do the simple data table. I'll give it a name. I'm going to call it um, the name of my table. I'll call it lesson one table okay and I'm gonna press OK all right so now I'll click on the test case and I'll go to data source in my data source I'm gonna select the table I just created which is lesson one table okay I'll select it and I'm going to give it values. So I add a column. I'll call the column um, password to differentiate it from the other password. I'll call it password table. Okay. And now it's asking me to give it values. So I can say give the ABC the next value. We press enter. I can say one, two, three. Press enter. I can say as many passwords as you need to test your test case. I can say 
six, seven, eight. Okay, so I think five is enough, and I'll press OK. But before I do that, I have to connect this table to my variable, which is password. So to do that, you go into your data binding, select data binding, and you say, I want to connect my table, which is my password table, to my password variable. Without doing this, it's not going to work. Then you press OK. Right away, Runex will tell you, OK, Ty, you have one variable that is already connected, so it's bound. And this variable has five values. So meaning this script will run five times. You can go back again and check why is it five. It's five because if you go into your data source, you can see we have five different values. If it was six, if I, put in a, if I put in a new value, I put in x, y, and I press OK, you can see the number changes to 6. All right. So when I run this now, watch what would happen. Run an extra cycle through all this, then start all over again with a new password. So let's test that. So I'm going to press Run. And right away, you can see it's telling you I'm running one of six. As you can see, it was a fail because I put in an invalid negative password. So we couldn't log in. So this is how you run negative tests, or this is how you run um, other tests with different passwords. So after a while, RunRx is going to fail. Okay. So as you can see, the 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 the, um, the report is a fail, and a fail because um, it was a negative test. So it told us one failed, and the remaining five were blocked. And as you can see, what happened. If you want to see exactly what happened, say you were in there while it was running, you can see that the, for the password I used ABC, and this was the line that failed. And I can always double click to see what the picture was at the time, and that's exactly what the picture was that caused the failure. And I can also jump to the script that caused the failure. So I can press jump to item, and it goes to the script. So it was the exact first um, line that failed in the script. OK, so that's how you do data driven in RunRx. And this is very key, because once you start talking about data driving testing, you are becoming more efficient. And any job you go for, they will definitely ask you in the interview if you understand data driven. So data driven is testing that is driven by data. I have this many data, and I want to use one script to run through those many data. And that will be the end of our RunRx. So if you have any questions, as always, on Friday, let me know, and we can go through it together. But I think RunRx is very easy for you guys, and I know you will pick it up very easily.